Um, coming to you from my kitchen, I thought I'd throw you a little decoration to look at. Um, I just want to get this video out there. I sent all of you a um, private message containing, you should have got by now, the address list with all um, with the teams and the names. And then also, I tried to put it in somewhat of order of the names to help you out too, but I couldn't get them side by side with the partner. So also I sent you a group of your partners, but I just want to do in this video to kind of reiterate, make sure we um, got who the right, you know, the correct partners are. So I'm just going to kind of read them off. So also a lot of you have been messaging me back, telling me you got it, which is great, but there's some people who maybe got it and didn't message me. So I just want to do this video as like a recap, make sure that everybody has the information that they need. So um, let's get started. So Team Cupids, and after this I'm going to give you a few more tips too on shipping and things like that. Um, but quickly I'm going to read through the um, teams and your partner just to make sure you have it straight. And even if you did get the email, um, it was whoever you're directly across. Like I put them in groups of two, so whoever you were next to is your partner. But just in case, like I said, I'm going to reread this. So Team Cupids is going to be Mindy's Craft Room 4 and Marilyn Fuller. Um, I don't know if it's Annie's place or Annie's place and Nunjai, and I'm sorry if I'm saying any of these name wrongs, but you guys will hopefully get the basic idea. So Annie's place and Nunjai, Marla and Laurel are partners, Lynn B and Blackheart Prims partners, uh, Elon 47 and Crop and Doc, you, you guys are partners, and um, to, on to Team Candy Hearts, there's Nadine TX and me, which is Hearts 1217, her and I are partners. Um, Sweet Dreams 03 and Coco Lulu Bub, you two are partners. Um, Scrap Elegance and Olga VAS 34, you two are partners. Tina Kunick and Darla G are partners. Um, JMK 3432 and Lyric Lover 810, you guys are partners. Um, and then on Team Red Roses, we have Misha Scrap and Things 1 and Crafty Joe 106, you two are partners. Um, we have Crafty Fox 723, or Folks, I'm saying that wrong. Crafty Folks 723 and A. Ottomers 224. You two are partners. And then there's Fat Fanny 618 and Love to Craft. That's Lucina. She was my partner last time. Um, so Fat Fanny and Love to Craft. You two are partners. And Jackie OK12 and My Little Sweet Peas. You two are partners. One Dandy's mom and also Bill and you two are partners. So if anybody has any, you know, if they thought it was somebody else, um, feel free to message me at any time and I'll clarify that. Um, you see, I have my one friend Darla. She asked, am I asking too many questions? Because she had a few questions and not at all. You can't ask too many questions and it's better to ask questions and that's how we learn. So don't think you're ever bothering me. So if you have any question, even if it's something little, send me a PM and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. So those are the partners. So like I said, PM me if you have any questions, but you all should have this list in front of you, and it's whoever you're directly across from. Okay, then to, real quick to recap, um, this is what a, this one is actually a used one, and it normally has, but I figured I'd show you this on camera. Um, I recently um, had a person purchase my, um, let me cover this, I guess. I had a person purchase my, uh, Cricut Expression from me, which was great. So um, I sent that out, and this is, I got delivery confirmation on it. So I just want to show you, most of you probably know this, um, and this is for the U.S. Uh, participants, because I know it's different for you ladies in Canada. Um, but for if we're sending out something U.S., and remember how I made it mandatory, not on all your tags. Like when you're shipping out all your tags, that's up to your discretion whether you want to add any type of insurance or delivery confirmation. Just, you know, hope that they get out. But the most important one, because I don't want anybody sending out a package and then not getting one, you know, um, for the swap. So what what you have to do is get this, and it says postal delivery confirmation. It's the green one. There's usually another little tab on the side, and they rip it off, and they give you um, they take that ticket, put on your package, then you're left with this. And then right here, you're going to see this delivery confirmation number this number right here, and that's what you want to type in. And then once you get that information, hold on to that. For your own records and then also um, just private message me your delivery confirmation number that way if, you know if there's any problems down the line we can just look them up that way and um, we'll be able to figure out what's going on with the packages so that's what this is and this is what I was telling you either cost um, 
So it looks like this. It just has another little piece that they put on it. Um, so find that. And if you can't find it when you go in the post office, just ask them to say, I need delivery confirmation. It's not insurance. Um, if you want to get insurance, you can add that too. But insurance usually is a little more costly and you have to tell them, if you have to tell them the um, value of the package, you probably most likely have the wrong thing because you just want delivery confirmation. Um, but if, like I said, if you want to get insurance, you can. Now, those of you who, because this is going to be a little different than when we just did the cards, because when you, from the U.S. to Canada, when you're sending something um, there, if it's just a card, you don't have to fill out a customs form. But if it's any type of package, which even though it's going to be a small package, if you're just sending the tags to um, Canada, you're probably going to have to fill out one of these forms. And this is what they look like. It's, um, I just got, they give me my... My postal lady's real nice, and she'll give me some stuff so I can fill it out before I come in the next time. But it just looks like this, and you just ask them for a customs form, and it's not that serious. You just have to fill out um, the sender's last name. It tells you also your first name, your address, and then it's just going to ask you. Um, it says check one, and you, you know you put gifts. You check gift, and it just asks you the total value of your package. So say it was twenty dollars. You know you can just put twenty dollars. Don't feel like this too. You, this is just for them, you know, to go through customs. And it's not like the more you put isn't going to cost you any more or anything like that. That's only if you want to add insurance to it, which I'm not even sure you can do that when you're sending so far. So they're just asking you the value so that they know what's coming in and, you know, coming and going. So don't feel like if you put, you know, that it's actual value that you're, it's going to charge. That won't affect the price of your, you know, the cost of your shipping. And it shouldn't be that much more because it's, you know, it's stick pins. So they are going to be a little bit heavier than a card. But it shouldn't cost that much more to ship to Canada, but, but it will be a little bit more. But it shouldn't be too bad, and you're just going to have to fill out um, for the, the people who are in Team Cupid. Um, there's two um, two ladies from Canada, so you're just going to have to fill out probably two of these. So it's not that big a deal. And um, like I said, you just put in the value, and then they're going to give you one. They're going to rip one off and give you one for your records. So that's just if anybody hasn't shipped to Canada before, just a little tip to help you. But um, like I said, it's just, you can basically read, you know, where what to put in. They'll even tell you at the post office, like, just fill out here, here, and here, and then then you're done. So those are just some tips, and I just wanted to, you know, reread the packages. So if any of you have not gotten um, your list of addresses, please let me know as soon as possible, and I'll try to resend it to you. Um, but it's really been a big help for all of you who have added me as a contact. That way, I just kind of checked all the boxes on the people who are in the swap and send them out as a mass message instead of individually have to find each one of your channels, then find that private, me private, bleh, private message tab and send it that way. So I appreciate all that, and thank you all. You're, you're all doing great with your cooperation and getting back to me. Um, it's wonderful. So it makes things run smoothly, and I really, really appreciate that. So again, if anybody has any questions with your partners or your addresses, you should all have all that information now. And just remember, um, everything has to go out um, by January 25th. Everything has to go out by January 25th, and by the t end of the 26th, um, just please, 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 please PM me that tracking info so that way I have it all on record and hopefully we won't even need any of it. Um, but just in case anything, you know, is a little slower or, you know, because things happen with the mail. So those are just requirements. And of course, like I said, if you happen to get your tax done early, feel free and you're ready to send them out. Feel, feel free to go ahead and do that. The, you know, earlier better wouldn't hurt anything. That way the people can enjoy them longer before Valentine's Day comes. So if you do happen to have them done before the 25th, you know, feel free to send them out. And um, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. All right, thanks for listening, guys, and I'll be checking in with more videos soon. Bye.